What's up everyone and welcome back to Top 5 Central. Today we're looking at the top 5 dumbest YouTube publicity stunts. Now a lot of celebrities do dumb stunts like leak news or get into fights with people just so they make headlines and some people who post YouTube videos also do similar stuff so today we're counting down the worst. With that said, let's try to aim for 10,000 likes on this video, but with that said, let's get right into it. Number 5 Okay, so petty drama on YouTube is a huge problem and no one really knows how to fix it. Like trying to solve the problem by creating even more drama doesn't really make sense, but that's exactly what RiceGum and FoozyTube decided to do. Apparently they were getting sick of drama channels constantly reporting on them, so they decided to fake a huge fight just to see how people would respond. It all started with RiceGum indirecting Fuzzy on Twitter, but they went even further than that. RiceGum literally went to Fuzzy's apartment and recorded an actual fake fistfight, leaking the video to Twitter. Now obviously everyone from Philip DeFranco to Drama Alert to Scarce made videos about the fight, proving Fuzzy's point that drama channels were out of control. However, to give them a lot of credit, they all called BS and knew it was fake from the jump, so it really didn't help Fuzzy's argument that much. What sucks even more for Fuzzy is that the stunt didn't help his channel at all, like it actually lost him a few thousand subscribers. The entire stunt didn't solve anything, but to be fair, drama has died down so much in the past year anyways, so at least there's that. Oh, he just sent it, there's no turning back now. Uh oh, oh no, already hella retweets. Oh! <laughs> He got 500 retweets in seconds. Bro. Oh no. The next step is gonna be me replying to him saying, You better just add me next time. This is about to be crazy. What the hell is this fool doing? It's fake right now, but we're gonna get it. What's up? You see? That was so fake. That was so fake. That was so fake. That was faker than any prank on YouTube. I can't do that. Number 4 Okay, so even the dumbest sons usually have a point, but this might be the most random one of all. Dog Shirt has apparently been eating a picture of Jason Siegel every day since February 16th of 2017, and says he won't stop until Jason eats a picture of him. He's already on day 78, and from what I've seen, he's showing no signs of stopping, meaning as crazy as it is, he's super dedicated. Like you might think that no one watches this guy, but he actually has over 20,000 subscribers and one video amassing almost 3 quarters of a million views. Okay, just a quick question for all you watching. If you could get famous on YouTube for eating a piece of paper once a day, would you do it? Like, I seriously want to know your thoughts about that in the comments below. Hey Jason. Number 3 So most stunts get forgotten about pretty quickly, but it's been almost a year later and this one is still common knowledge. Marina Joyce got famous when her weird behavior convinced her subscribers she was being kidnapped, and they started a campaign to help her. People heard her whispering help me in videos, as well as being on camera with bruises and marks on her hands. Sometimes apparently there were even guns in the background of her videos, and she would flinch every time she heard a noise. Literally no one knew what was going on, and Theory said everyone from her family to ISIS were responsible. What I found was super weird though is she even like tweets saying she was in trouble, which convinced her audience something was horribly wrong. Now thankfully she live streamed after everyone freaked out and told people she was fine, but she never explained her weird behavior. Her friends said that she was suffering from a mental illness and that's what made her act strange, but most people assumed she was doing it for the subscribers or she was on some sort of crazy drug. Either way, within a matter of a week she went from 600,000 subscribers to 2.1 million, making this an easy spot on the list. I think it's okay though. I just realized how concerned everybody was for me and actually made me so happy how happy like everyone that was concerned for me. And yeah, and I'm almost going to hit a, a million probably, so subscribers. I saw. I mean, it's going to be interesting to see what happens next. Yeah. <laughs> I guess, you know what, I guess to start things off, can you just tell me uh, how are you today? How are you in life? Today I'm really good. I went to see my manager and now I realize like I have to be smart about every move that I make because I'm not used to, well, I'm only used to having 600,000 subscribers, which is quite a lot, mm -hmm. but like not to have so many people paying so much attention to everything that I do. Um, that's only helped me, it's not healthy. I, yeah, I'm 
I'm okay. Um, this was a publicity stunt by my viewers, not by me. And Oli Sullivan, hi! Um Number two. Getting a crack on your windshield sucks, but when it happened to Kobe Person, he was smart enough to fully take advantage of it, and I gotta say, he was a genius. Before he got a fix, he decided to have some fun by pranking his audience and the entire YouTube community. Basically, he drove his gold BMW i8 on the street and had a friend smash the windshield with a baseball bat and then pretended that a hater was responsible. Now, drama channels picked up on a Snapchat and Instagram video right away, but that wasn't all. Like, I'm not even joking, CNN, USA Today, Lad Bible, and GQ Magazine all wrote about the incident, and not one of them realized it was just a prank, bro. A week ago, when I was driving on the highway, a rock hit my windshield and made a crack on the top. I was gonna go get it fixed, but then I thought to myself, hmm, let's have some fun with this before they fix it. That's when I called my boy Jim up to do the honors of smashing my windshield. I'm Kobe Person. Welcome to the making of the biggest publicity stunt of 2016. Here we go. This is gonna be good. This is gonna be good. This is gonna be good. All right. Jim, you ready? Yeah, let's not waste no time. What's up, baby? You ready, Jimmy? Yup. Let's go. Here's your honorable mention. When YouTubers haven't made a video in a while, there's a lot of pressure to come back with a bang, but this guy's stunt was literally miles above the rest. Vitaly has pulled some crazy stunts and pranks before, but after being away from YouTube for a while, he decided to push his luck even further. In March of 2016, he climbed a 64 foot high Hollywood sign just to wave a sign with the words, I'm back on it. Now, obviously he Snapchatted and filmed the entire thing. So it wasn't long before the press found out about it and came to cover the story. In the end, there were about five news helicopters watching him at the top of the sign, but that's when an LAPD helicopter and more police on the ground arrived. It really wasn't long after that before he was in custody, but he made it clear he thought the joke was worth it and it definitely got him a lot of publicity. What's up, YouTube? I miss you. I've been gone for quite a while, but today I'm back in a very big way. We begin with breaking news. A man has climbed the Hollywood sign. Good evening, I'm Micah Ullman. And I'm Cher Calvin. We've seen him waving a white flag that says, I'm back, there it is. Tim Lin is overhead in Sky 5 with these live pictures. Tim. Now we're out covering the uh, Trump rally down at uh, the Kimmel Show, but right now we have uh, a guy named Vitaly up here on the D of Hollywood sign up on Mount Lee. He's got a sign up saying, I'm back. Uh, he's a, apparently has a YouTube channel. He just said hello to us on the way down. He was really friendly, so yeah, he didn't seem too phased that he got arrested. Zorovetsky told us he enjoyed his time up there. Number one. Okay, Vitaly has pulled so many stunts that one spot on this list just wasn't enough. Even before he was climbing the Hollywood sign or getting arrested for fake bomb pranks, he was making trouble at the World Cup Finals. I mean, it's technically not the most original stunt as hundreds of people have tried streaking at soccer or football matches, but it definitely got people's attention. You could tell the teams were annoyed, but they were nothing compared to security who chased him halfway across the field. To be arrested so many times for making videos is kind of funny but dumb at the same time, but it really raises the question, does Vitaly's job technically make him a professional at getting arrested? I mean, I guess that's up for you guys to decide. our video on the top five dumbest YouTube publicity stunts. If you enjoyed the video, please feel free to leave a like down below and subscribe so you see when I upload a video. Also, if you're on top five or top 10 idea, feel free to zerk me handy form in the description to submit it. With that said, thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next video.